So for this next section, I want to talk a little bit about turnaround licks. And we've briefly touched on them throughout this course so far, but if you want to sound authentic in your blues playing, you have to have a core vocabulary of these licks under your fingers. Just listen when I play something like this. <clears throat> There's just no denying that all of those phrases sound like the tradition of blues. And so let's take a look at a few of these licks. The first one I'm going to show you starts up here on the seventh fret and it's going to be in the key of E so you can play this in the last two bars of a 12 bar blues in the key of E. So I've place my third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. I start there and every other note that I play is open E. And then I'm going to walk down these frets. I'm going to go seven, five, four, three, two. So you get this. So I start with a whole step, which is two frets, and then I go chromatically down from there. Chromatically, by the way, just means in half step. And then I do this blues figure we've heard a million times. Now there's a few ways you can pick this with the right hand. You could start by going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and really work on that spread between look at the leap that you're going from the fifth string all the way to the first string. Or you could just grab it with your finger like this. So I'll show you what this sounds like in context of, a, of the last four bars of a blues. Slow down a little bit. So that's turnaround number one. Here's another one, which is just a slight variation from that. Now all I've done is take this note from example one and move it up the octave. This is probably the first turnaround most people learn and it's really just stock. So I've got the fifth fret, second string. Again, every other note is open E. Move down a whole step. Chromatically from there, second fret, first fret, open. And then you go zero, one, two, so. Okay, here's another variation, turn around number three. Now all I've done there is play with the rhythm instead of it's using triplets, which are another staple in the blues, you know, with things like Texas triplet. A little bit more of a work workout for your right hand. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and two. So let's drop those into a blues and kind of hear hear where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> 